Good morning. I'm fresh from my day off. I had all sorts of plans for yesterday and I ended up crashing big style. Just tired all day, but you know, I think you run on adrenaline to an extent every day. And as soon as your brain knows you don't have to do anything, it just tells your body to shut down and it did. So it did me good. That's what a day off is meant to be. Anyway, I'm packed up. I've had breakfast here. This was a decent hotel. Now I'm gonna drag myself out and make a start. So today is Labour Day. I don't really know what that means in as much as I don't know whether people have a day off, whether it's like a bank holiday in the UK. But I've seen a fair few people out on bikes. So maybe, I hope they do, because it's a good day for it. It's a nice start to the day. I'm still on this, or I guess is the cowboy trail. But yeah, this is really nice. Just a, a nice way of easing in or easing back into the ride. That really did feel like a proper break yesterday. Just one day off is amazing. What difference it makes. So yeah, this is looking good so far. Time for a quick break. It's been roads all morning really, but very quiet roads. I mean, there's just nothing really. The odd car now and then. Am I talking about car? No cars, trucks, all trucks. Gravel road. I'm not gonna complain, I'm happy with this. I don't know how long it lasts, but it's not the highway. Lots of uh, little ups and downs today. I've got a bit of a headwind. But you know, I think in balance, I've had 50-50 with headwinds and tailwinds. It's about as good as you can expect, I suppose. A tailwind would be nice today though. At least, like I've said before, with the breeze, I'm nice and cool. And that is a big deal. This little bit of gravel is a little bit too much for these tyres. I'll keep going, hopefully it'll uh, sort itself out. Seems just about all right if I stay in the wheel tracks. Taking another little break. An unusual day. I haven't um, had a day like this. It switches between road and gravel. I uh, adjusted, I think I mentioned I was going to adjust the saddle, so I tilted the nose down a little bit to try and just change the seat in position. I don't know if it's working, we're going to find out. I've also bought some cream yesterday, some hydrocortisone cream. There was sort of a choice, there's some people said sort of spot cream, this is for saddle sores, and some have said hydrocortisone, so I'll try the hydrocortisone. See how it works out. I'd want that. I love these old American trucks. I've said it before, but that's the one I love the most. Kenworth K100. We're in Snyder. I'm going to see if there's a shop. This cricket is going to be wired. He's drinking coffee. It's a strong blend too. I wonder what's going to happen to him. He won't be sleeping tonight, that's for certain.
So here we are in Hooper, faucet there, tap if you're British. So I filled it with water, I've got restrooms over there, this little shelter, I'm gonna sit in here for a little while. Um, there's power and I don't know exactly where you camp. I'll probably just tuck away. I mean, I half consider not bothering with the tent, I'm just sleeping in this shelter. We'll see. But it's all good so far. I'm going to charge some stuff up and I'm just going to sit here and chill out for a little bit before I decide what to do. So there you have it. Another day. I think I'm just going to sleep on a bench in here. So today, 70 miles. Not a bad day. It took me most of the, the day, mind. But that was because of the headwinds and the gravel. There was a lot of gravel today. The tyres just about coped. But that's all I need them to do. Tomorrow... I know we go to Omaha, whether I go on from there or stay there, I don't know. We'll find out together. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching, goodbye. Good morning, I'm already up and out. I thought I'd better head. I had to get the tent up in the end. These things, I can't, I don't know what they're called. They bite you though. I think my friend Danny on the AT called them no see -ums, but I don't imagine that's their official name. But their bites hurt and there was loads of them. And you can't see them. So anyway, I got in the tent, so I thought I'd pack up early and get out. But there's nothing in town where I can get coffee, so I'm just going to have to start riding. It's pretty early, about 7 o'clock. Where it says quitting smoking now greatly reduces serious risk to your health. Like it didn't always. It's strange seeing cigarette adverts. I found coffee anyway, gas station. I'm going to drink this, make a couple of calls, and then head off. Let's see if I can identify that later, see what butterfly he turns into. Or moth. Caterpillars turn into moths. I'll find out. You might find out too if I remember. The chances are I won't. A lot of washboard today, which I just have to push over to be honest, on this bike anyway. But coming up to a road, this might be Blair. Never had one of these before. Mushroom Swiss. Everything's so noisy. I mean, this is the largest town I've been in for a while, but it's just noisy. I don't know if I'm just not used to it. I think it's only about 30 miles for the day so far, and it's midday. And today is much the same as yesterday. The rolling hills, gravel, uh, unfortunately the headwind as well. It may have to be a shortish day. Right, let's see what this is like. Really good. Unusual. Somebody's ready for Halloween. If you like it, why not? Right, now on to Omaha, 30 miles. Thirteen percent. They are short, but very sharp. Yes, yeah, the first time, really, I've had to push. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could have forced it, but it's the same old thing. If I can push quicker than I can ride. I'm going to push. I don't look at the elevation profile to see how many of them are coming, but I suspect a lot.
Nebraska is trying to kill me. Stopping for a quick drink in Fort Calhoun. I reckon there's 20 more miles to Omaha. Feeling it again today. I think it's just all these little climbs. saying about the wind being king. I'm riding on the flat into a direct headwind, doing 7.8 miles per hour. And I mean, that's an effort. This is really nice. I have no idea how long this lasts. I hope to Omaha anyway. We're going to ride over Bob. I think I just crossed into Iowa. Giant tin foil man. <sighs> Ten past five. Not too bad, really. I am done for the day. I'm definitely going to stay in this park. I don't want to go any further. So I found somewhere to camp. It took a while. I'm in the state park. On the main campsite, they want $38. So, I mean, it's RV based, so, you know, there's no tent rates. And I can't do it, so I uh, have sneaked on to the group camping site. And of course there's no one here. I'm already being savaged by mosquitoes. So I'm just going to set up here and then uh, get going early in the morning. My God, I'm going to have to wipe tent up. So 67 miles today and yes, yeah, 694 meters. So not a huge amount, but it's just it's up then down your legs cool off and then up so they burn and then down so uh yeah i find it harder than just doing big climbs it was nice to be off the road for the majority of the day and even though it was busy in omaha the cycle path was nice so you know all in all a good day's riding so i will see you tomorrow good night good morning i had a great night that was one of the best night's sleep I've had since I started. Nice quiet sight. Doesn't sound it now, does it? With the aeroplanes and the factory, but it was quiet. So I think I'm on the Wabash, Wabash Trail, which is another rail trail. That must be something to do with the Wabash Cannonball. A song from the big Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific regular combination called the yeah Wabash Cannonball I'll have to look it up I looked up that moth that caterpillar by the way and I think it was a salt marsh caterpillar and it turns into a tiger moth I bet you thought I'd forgotten well I nearly did right Oh, sorry. Somebody told me about this place, probably yesterday, a subscriber. And I think it's a bike club every Thursday. They have a special ride along here and they stop here and they have picnics and drinks. How cool is this stuff? It's got barbecues, everything. It's Wednesday today and obviously the likelihood that I was going to pass here at the right time is and was low, but it's a shame because that would have been good fun. It's closed. I'm going to have to go somewhere else for coffee. 
I don't know what's coming up. I need gas, really. Now I could make myself one, but I ran out. perfect I needed that I had coffee I had that salad I had fish and chips and cheesecake and it's only now five past twelve so now obviously I don't want to ride anywhere because I am super full I wonder if anyone's ever done the Trans Am on a penny farthing I've had a massive headache all day ever since I woke up and it's a shame because I would say even with the headache the riding this morning has been just so nice, so nice. It's flat, hard packed trail, lots of little places to see along the way. Anyway, I'm just gonna chill out here for a little bit. I am determined not to rush through stuff. My instinct is always to push on and get as far as I can as quickly as possible and I'm fed up with it. It can ruin the trip. I'm just gonna try and just go with the flow. This whole living in the moment thing. At the moment, I'm quite happy to sit on this bench and just relax. Maybe I'll sit here for 20 minutes, I don't know. Should we see if that works out? How many times have I said this? I'll keep trying. Maybe you can't change your nature, but I'm gonna try. I'll try and change my spots. Back out. What a fantastic little town just get such a good feeling in these places. I love places like that. Now that is a big bike. Malvern. Make sure you stop here. Right, the trail is that way. what that is. Hopefully I can identify it later. I'm not going to get any closer. It hasn't got a rattle on it. So I reckon that's a fox snake. It's not a rattlesnake, but it looks like one. And it says they're commonly, commonly misidentified. So we've made it to Shenandoah, the town, that is. I don't think I'm going to be passing any stores. I need something for dinner tonight. It doesn't look like Coin, which is where I may end up tonight, has any food stores. It's going to be a little early getting there, but it has showers. And I do fancy a shower. Got some food, now headed back to the trail. Nice little spot for a break. There are so many of these bridges on this trail and they all have to be maintained. And they all are. Really, really love this trail. 
it's just been great all day. I think I would have to say for the riding today has been as good as it's got on the, the trip so far. It's nice and quiet, peaceful, no cars, no trucks. I am definitely an off-road type of cyclist. I have learned this. Some might say the hard way, but I'm not going to say that. This has been epic so far. Had its challenges. I found it mentally challenging at times. And I had some comments, mostly saying that I should get off onto the quieter route, but some saying I should have stayed on the Trans Am because there'd be more people. But there's two things, there weren't people on there. I was too late setting off. And also, I couldn't stay on the Trans Am. For me, it was too scary. And anyone who rides that route is braver than me. Some of those roads with the small shoulders and the busy roads. Every time you can hear a car coming, I was kind of holding my breath. So, um, yeah, if you've done the Trans Am, then respect. Right, I'm going to have a drink of water and then carry on. I don't think I'm far from Coin. So, there we have it. I've set up over there. The little shower block works. There's a couple of guys here that are doing a tour um, going the other way. So, it's nice actually having someone to talk to. They're cool guys. I've been on my own a lot for this uh, whole tour. So, yeah, I do like it when I meet up with people to chat with. And I should be getting more of that, I'd imagine, on some of these rail trails. So, today was 61 miles, not as far as I thought, but that's fine. This place is not to be missed. Five dollars. I can get a shower. I've got to do the bike, I've got to do the chain, so I've got to sort all that out. I might rinse my clothes out as well, do all that. So, I needed maybe a little bit of a shorter day to get some jobs done. And I've got to um, catch up with my comments. I've got a lot of those and emails. So many emails. Incidentally, on email, strangely, I get a lot of people asking if I've got a Patreon, and no, I don't. If you don't know, Patreon is like a subscription thing where you get extra content if you subscribe, sign up to it, but um, I don't, and, and I won't, because I don't like paywalls. I like it all to be free on YouTube. All I ask is that you maybe like the video, if you do, or comment, or watch it. That's that's all that's expected. I do have a Ko-fi page. There's a link to that down below. If you don't know what that is, that's just where you can buy me a coffee. You know I'm going to buy beer with it. But anyway, that's in the description down below. And I mean, if you want to buy me a beer, then yeah, great. I will humbly and graciously accept that. Anyway, I'll say goodnight and I shall see you in the morning. Good night. That's not gonna work, is it? Good morning, I had a great night. There was a few guys came in last night and two of them are here with me. You got Jason and Zach. All the way around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take two. Jason and Zach. Yeah, so it was nice, finally, to actually meet some other cyclists because I've not spoken to anyone for a long time. I was going a little bit stir crazy. We had a good night and last night these two guys went off hunting for beer in the town where there was definitely not going to be any and then two other cyclists rolled in and they had beer. So we got our beer in the end didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the beer fairies. So yeah, the beer, the beer fairies. fairies. Well thanks, it's been nice to meet you. Thank you man, a pleasure. Take it easy. Okay, so we're out. It was really nice just having someone to chat with last night. A nice cool morning. Yesterday was a really good day, all told. Everything went well. It was nice just to have a easy, sort of relaxing, plenty of little towns, good place to stay. And then a bit of company in the evening. That was really nice. So yeah, we'll see what happens today. I won't expect the same, because it ain't going to happen. Beautiful.
another state. Let's see what Missouri's like. That is the city of Elmo. Not a lot there. It's so quiet out here. It is so quiet. It's eerie. There's no cars. Nothing. Very strange. I missed my turn. Luckily the diversion is just about good enough. I can see the road I need to get onto. This road is beyond the limits of my tyres. I don't know how much of this I have today. There could be a lot of pushing. That was a lot of pushing, but, and I don't want to speak too soon, it looks like it's more compacted up here at this junction. I really hope so, otherwise it's going to be a very, very long day. And the answer is a little bit better. I seem to be able to ride down slowly, but not up. There's a dog back there chasing me very, very, very slowly. That looks like a proper road ahead. Maybe this gravel isn't going to be all day. Yep, I'll take this. guessing that is a bear cat. So we're at the University of North Missouri. I've just had a little ride around. Whilst I'm here, it's a big place. I'm gonna head into the town though, try and find some food and water. Bear cat. I wanna see a college football game or something whilst I'm here. I was speaking to Ross about it. He's sent me an email with uh, loads of fixtures and all that sort of stuff. I imagine it's going to be baseball because it's easier because they play more games. But that's one of my missions on this trip is to see some sort of baseball or football game. That was good. Macaroni cheese with shrimp and sausage. Very good. I've just been into Casey's now, which is across the road, and I got a donut and I got some drinks. And then I'm gonna get out of here. Still not sure where I'm going tonight. I've got a few options. It's way hotter than I thought it would be. I'm gonna have to check what the temperature is. 37. Crazy. It's supposed to cool off from tomorrow, so I'll look forward to that. But yeah. I kinda thought the hot weather was over, but that's just me being stupid. Trying to get the draft from this tractor, but it's getting away from me. <sighs> These hills. Up, down, up, down. <sighs> They're killing me. Oh man. So that drone shot was an attempt to show you the up and down nature of this road, but I don't think it really worked. You'll just have to take my word for it.
Right, so we've made it here. This is a roadside park. There's some pretty good spots down there I'm quite happy to go and sneak into. It's already bad for mosquitoes. I'm going to set up and I'm just going to get in my tent and crash tonight, get up early and get up and get into town. Right, I'm going to set up before I get bitten to death. I'm so glad I bought this earlier. I wasn't hungry at all because I'd just eaten, but knew it was the right thing to do. And these, these are good. So there you have it, another day. 70 miles, 700 meters of ascent. That's quite a lot of ascent, really, for 70 miles. Tomorrow, like I said, gonna get into town. Probably gonna get to the library first. I have so much stuff to upload. So I might go and do that and then hopefully get something to eat grab some water and head back out. Anyway, I'm gonna to go to bed. It's only half seven, but why not? I love this pad. I can't get over how comfortable it is. It's a Thermarest NeoAir X-Lite, but the wide one and the wide pad makes all the difference compared to those little mummy shaped ones I've had in the past. I'll probably do a review of it on my review channel at some point. There's about six trillion vicious little bastards trying to get in here and none of them can i'll see you in the morning thank you for watching good morning i didn't sleep well this road was busy all night. I thought it'd quieten down, and it did a bit, but it's a busy road. On top of that, the coyotes all night. So today's gonna be a rough day, I know it is. There's a town just down the road there. I'm gonna nip in there. I think I said last night, I gotta try and upload some footage and uh, get some water. So we're gonna get going. Let's go. Let's cycle. We're in Stanbury. And according to this mural, all roads lead here. And judging by my experience, that's completely true. an awesome library. I managed to get some stuff uploaded, had a couple of cups of coffee. Now I think there's a Dollar General so I'm gonna go and get some more stuff and then head out. It's cooler today, like 75 Fahrenheit. Again I'm aware I switch between temperatures but it's cooler than yesterday so yeah let's get going. So, time has passed, miles have gone by. I haven't filmed anything because it's all the same as yesterday's. I reckon I've done 20 miles. It's very quiet. I'm actually sat on the road because nothing is on it, which is really nice. Another thing that's really nice is I have a southerly wind and I'm headed southeast, so I haven't got a headwind. It's working in my favour. It's the same thing, the hills, and they're some are really steep. I'm having to get off and push. Uh, 15, 16 percent grades. They're just sharp little mean hills, not nice friendly hills. The next town, I keep wanting to call it Gallifrey, but that's Doctor Who's homeworld. So it's probably not that. Galatin? Galatin. That's the next big town. And there's a ropey looking hotel there, according to Google. Only one, but I might stay there anyway. In the pictures for it, it has a picture of the room and then a picture of a bed bug. And somebody's review said that um, prostitutes keep knocking on his door. <laughs> to see if he wants their services. Not that there's anything wrong with um, 
being a prostitute. Don't want to annoy all my prostitute subscribers. That joke does work twice. Can you tell I didn't sleep? Man, I reckon I got two hours sleep last night, if that. Ah. closed down so I don't know what I'm gonna do I need food I don't know I'll go up there and get some food and then figure it out so I went and got a subway I had a quick uh, look on Google Maps and there's a park down here somewhere I think I'm gonna go and have a look and uh, see if I can camp out somewhere on that. I did go to the police station again, but it was locked up and I can't call them. My phone won't let me. So in my mind, I've done my best. Hopefully it's nice and quiet and tucked away. We'll find out together. I haven't filmed much today. I'm just so tired. I did think about riding on and my legs would, but my mind was like, no. Where's this park? I've just come down a really big hill. I hope I haven't come down needlessly. Oh no, here we go. I can see a pavilion. Yeah, this park is perfect. I'm glad that hotel had shut down because I didn't really want to stay in it. It looked pretty awful. On top of that, I've got power over there and I've got water right there. Yeah, I've got everything I need. The only thing I can't do is shower, but you know, that's not a big deal. I even managed to upload some footage. It's a constant battle, uploading footage. I tell you what though, Nebraska had the best internet I've ever known. It was awesome. It was just so easy. Now I'm back to normal speed. So yeah, I do spend a fair amount of my time hunting down Wi-Fi like some sort of digital vulture. That's the new channel name. I'm gonna change it. The Digital Vulture. I am so tired. So, just 53 miles today, but that's okay. That's all I wanted to do. So anyway, on that note, I'm gonna say good night and I shall see you in the morning. I just read a couple of comments that people don't seem to be able to wave with just their little finger. This is my other hand as well. I can do it with both. And if this is the end of the video, then I shall see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. A thumbs up would be nice if you liked it, which of course you did. I'll see you soon.